This particular video is to instruct you on how to apply the Sully brace. Um, the Sully is actually the, uh, the name of the brace itself. Um, uh, it's uh, made by Saunders, uh, so it's one of the most beneficial and useful braces uh, for treating somebody with uh, either type, you know, any type of shoulder instability. Uh, shoulder instability really needs to be um, kind of protected more from the inside, so it's not a fantastic brace. It doesn't solve all of your problems for somebody that has a really loose shoulder, but it's the best brace on the market that still allows the individual to have the mobility that they need, but also some support. Uh, so it's very comfortable. The athlete can put it on themselves. Uh, they can use it every single day. Uh, and so you know, it becomes one of the primary shoulder braces that we actually use. Um, the way that it's designed is it has uh, this particular uh, device, which is really just a neoprene um, kind of half vest that they place on. Um, then it's got ability for the straps to actually hook onto it. So this doesn't really do much. It just provides the foundation for the supportive straps. The brace is also designed to be right or left. It doesn't really matter. So again, it makes it fairly universal. So you don't have to buy, buy two different ones for the different um, extremities. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to place this on the individual, kind of like you would do a shirt. Um, this could go on over a compressive shirt, um, could go under their jersey, uh, doesn't necessarily re really matter, but you do wanna make sure that it's good and snug. Um, if it's too loose or it falls off, it's really not gonna do what it needs to do. Um, there's also a Velcro strap here, so if you wanna secure it onto the arm just a little bit tighter, you can so when you buy the Sully brace, it comes with a whole host of different straps. And so depending on the condition that you want to actually use, you can kind of dic change and dictate what you want to do. And it comes with actually very good instructions for all the different conditions that you might want to treat. Um, for example, this particular strap is a little bit wider and a little bit smaller. And all of these straps are designed to be cut to whatever size that you would need to. And so some individuals have issues with their clavicle. And so we can actually take this and we actually can secure it and pull it down and that holds the clavicle down. So that's um, uh, a very simple and alternative thing that you can do with the other braces, just as giving an example. But we're gonna demonstrate primarily is really how to uh, protect the, again, most common injury that they're gonna have, which is issues with anterior instability. So again, we don't want the arm to come up we don't want the arm to come back, so we're gonna pull the arm kind of down and in. So again, in order to do this, we're just gonna place his hand. Um, for right now, we're just gonna place on, a, on his hip. We don't want to have his arm be a long ways out. We wanna pull it down and in. So with this particular one, we're gonna use this kind of unique wrap that actually starts off uh, fairly thick, but then it goes into all these smaller um, straps um, just like that. So it's got two different ones and what that's going to do is, is that's going to allow us to um, uh, apply uh, pressure in two different locations. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to start with our bottom strap. We're going to loop this around so it's good and secure and we're going to come underneath his armpit and we're going to come around the back and we're going to secure this down tight onto his chest, just like that. We're gonna take the other one and we're gonna secure this around again, but instead we're gonna come around the back and secure this onto the side, just like there. So it attaches onto here, all the braces, all the brace support kind of goes along the back, but because it wraps and curves around, you can see what that's gonna do is that's going to pull and stretch and keep his arm from coming down, and it's also gonna prevent his arm from actually coming and going backwards. So it's providing all that stability and all that secureness in order for him to be able to still function a little bit, but at the same time provide good stability and support, and at the same time maintaining the mobility that he needs. Um, again, there's a variety of different things you can do. You can protect it more with abduction, you can do posterior instability, you can do a, a, a multi-directional instability, but you would just uh, look at the directions and see how to apply the different straps in those different areas for whatever condition that you want to, want to use. So again, it's a highly functional, useful brace uh, to be able to treat any type of shoulder issue that you might find.